Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Unnamed here today, not a Space Engineers video. Why? Well, because the game is broken. Um, I want to say it's because of the new update, but I don't know. I really have no idea. Ugh, sorry, I'm a little gassy right now, just ate dinner. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but yeah, power armor. Power armor in Fallout 4 looks fantastic. A, you can upgrade it, you can do all sorts of things with it. It's great, but unfortunately they made a little boo-boo with that. What is that? Well, anyone and their grandmother can wear power armor. And uh, the whole thing with the reactor core. Let me explain. In the Fallout franchise, Power armor was always something to work up towards. It was this big, complicated mass of machinery that you needed specialized training in order to use. You had to go on some kind of quest, you had to align yourself with a certain faction, you had to do something in order to achieve the ability to use power armor. In Fallout 4, well, yeah, I, I can understand the male character being able to use power armor. I mean, he's former military. He probably would have been trained in order to use power armor. The wife? Maybe? Maybe the husband gave her some tips and pointers on power armor? I, I don't know. But one thing that I do know for sure is that the average bumpkin that is littering your settlement should not be able to get into your power armor. This dumbass right here, whenever there's a raider attack or super mutant attack, if he has something down here, they immediately go rushing for the power armor that I have. Well, I used to have it stored down here in a little building in the garage, kind of out here because as you can see, I've collected so many different suits of power armor in my travels throughout this game. And they would they would just rush into the power armor, and there's nothing I could do about it because apparently they had a bug where if someone got into a suit of power armor, they go all Slender Man, and you tell them to get the fuck out of your power armor, and they would not get out of your fucking power armor. And if they died in your power armor, oh god help you, there was no way to get that power armor back. It was gone. So if, I swear, if the X01 suit that I have right now got picked up by one of these morons, and then they started stomping around in it, god forbid a Deathclaw come down here and kick their ass, it would be gone. My power armor would be gone, and I would have to go out and try and find a whole new suit of X01 armor. And unfortunately, they only come in partial suits like this. I got extremely lucky with this one. I went to that uh, enclave base out in the glowing sea and found a whole pristine set of power armor. Which is fantastic, because with a hot rod paint job, this thing looks fucking amazing. But, yeah, I mean, lore-wise, power armor needed special training. You couldn't just put it on like a fucking suit. Another thing that I mentioned was the power cores. Now, as far as I know, the T-45 was the only power armor that required an external power supply. All the suits after, the T-50 and up, had their own internal power supplies that could run for centuries, but now they all use the power core, which apparently has enough energy to run an entire building or skyscraper for 200 years, but if you slap it into the suit of power armor, it's only going to last you maybe an hour or so. Eh, not very good. But, yeah, a little inconsistent, or breaking uh, I really wish that Bethesda had put in some kind of blocker to make sure that these, you know, common rabble rousers down here 
can't get into my beautiful, pristine suits of power armor. Well, okay, some of them aren't quite as pristine as I would like, but, you know, you're traveling in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. You get what you can get your hands on. And right now, I probably have more power armor suits on hand than the friggin' Brotherhood of Steel. And I want to keep it that way, damn it. But yeah, a little lore-breaking, a little bit inconsistent. A little bit buggy, but you know, what can you really do? Now, one of the reasons that I haven't been doing Space Engineers videos as often as I would like to. I would really love to upload every other day. However, parts for my new computer have not arrived. I've got my optical drive and my computer case that are apparently still in transit, but they they're not here. They've been in transit apparently for a month and a half or so. It's not showing that they've been delivered. Uh, I, I'm thinking I'm just going to go to a different website and order them because the website I used was not quite... I don't know. It was a little sketchy. A friend recommended the website to me. I thought it was going to be fine. Apparently it's not. So off to Newegg to order new parts from them because all the rest of my parts that I ordered from them arrived within a week. I wanted to have this done before Christmas. Uh, it's now like January 9th. So a bit of a problem right there. So you can expect me not to have very many videos out until then. Or, well, okay. Here's the deal. I'll be making more videos. But not Space Engineers, because my computer is having real trouble with that. And I would love to do some Fallout 4 videos for you guys. So let me know if you'd like to see that. If you want to see me try some other games, let me know. I'm always willing to try new things for you guys. And if you're getting tired of the Space Engineers videos, if you want to see me stomping around in the wasteland, kicking some ass, by all means. You know, I would love to do it for you guys. So, that's about it for this. See you guys next time.